When should you contact a healthcare provider after an abortion? Your abortion provider should give you information about when and how to contact them after an abortion. But if they don't, ask them for emergency contact information and for what things to watch out for. In general, you should contact your abortion provider or your regular healthcare provider after an abortion procedure if you experience excessive bleeding, which is defined as soaking two pads per hour for two hours, a fever higher than 100.4, and or pain that's getting worse or that doesn't go away with over-the-counter pain medications. And contact your abortion provider during or after a medication abortion if you experience no bleeding, if it's been 24 hours since you took the last dose of your medicine, a fever higher than 100.4, chills, pain that's getting worse or that doesn't go away with over-the-counter pain medication, or excessive bleeding, mm -hmm. meaning that you've soaked two pads per hour for two hours in a row. Also, look out for nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea that continues for more than 24 hours after taking the last dose of medication. Keep in mind that nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea are common side effects of the medication abortion regimen and are not a cause for concern in the first 24 hours after taking the last dose of medication, unless you vomit within a half an hour of swallowing the medicine or putting it between your cheeks and your gums.